Well, civil rights lawyers and activists are calling for change in police departments, and they are suing to try to make that happen. ABC 10 News reporter Jared Ayer is joining us live now from La Mesa. Jared, these lawsuits stem from recent protests. Yeah, including one that happened right here in the La Mesa Police Department headquarters, Virginia, where the people suing alleged that the officers and the deputies involved fired unnecessarily on a crowd that was legally protesting. And we learned this morning of now six different lawsuits, many of them from people who had yet to come forward. One of them, though, is one we're familiar with, Leslie Furcron, who was hit in the head by a beanbag and suffered severe damage. Other people say they've suffered broken fingers, severe lacerations that required stitches, contusions, and more. They're saying now that it is time for a complete culture change among the police department and they're hoping the courts can force not only La Mesa PD but also San Diego PD and the sheriff's department to make those changes. Anybody who embraces this movement is unfortunately under the current police culture viewed as an enemy and they're treated accordingly. The culture of policing needs to change and small reforms are not going to do the job. There have to be systemic cultural changes in policing. It is a culture of force and violence. The ACLU and a handful of other local civil rights groups joined in today's news conference to call for more specific changes, including the end of any type of escalation or use of force. Because the news conference just wrapped up about 30 minutes ago, we haven't had a chance to reach out to the local police departments or the sheriff's department for their response to these claims. We hope to bring that to you by the end of the day. Live in La Mesa, Jared Ahrens, ABC 10 News.